Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. About a month ago, I showed off the ability to suspend an anvil in water using bubble columns. In the latest release, 1.16.2, this behavior now applies to ender pearls as well. This is an extremely powerful addition because it allows for ender pearls to be stored mid-air until they are needed. This means that instead of throwing an ender pearl in order to teleport somewhere, a player can simply flick a switch or press a button. This can be extremely useful for moving a large distance quickly, moving around a base, moving to a hidden room, or even escaping from a player chasing you. The mechanism to achieve this effect is very easy to set up and use. It's literally just a bubble column with some trap doors at the top to help align the ender pearl. I found that the water needs to be at least seven blocks deep in order to consistently not hit the soul sand at the bottom. Powering the piston creates a collision for the ender pearl, teleporting the player to that spot. One downside of this design is that you can only travel as fast as the repeaters in the redstone line let you, which is about 15 blocks per tick. In order to travel long distances instantly, you need to use a zero tick pulse extender and a chunk loader to make sure the ender pearl is loaded by the game. Tutorials for both of these are plentiful on YouTube, and I'll link some below. This teleporter opens up so many possibilities. I'm definitely going to be using it to mess with my friends on my Minecraft realm. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.